Hey. Yeah? I know something that's even funnier than 24. Let me hear it. 25! <laughs> Part 25 of Final Fantasy VII is here! So, on the last time with Final Fantasy VII, we have made it to the Gold Saucer. However, we were wrongly accused of murder and are now st stuck at the Corral Prison. However, we did follow the trail that quote-unquote Sephiroth seemingly made because Sephiroth now used guns. And we found out that it wasn't actually him. Could have been Barrett. Today... I'm going to let you listen to this song because this is one of my top 10 songs in Final Fantasy VII. This song so rocks. See what I tell you, the song is a banger until you get interrupted by a battle, of course. So we have two faces, a brand new enemy here, and we'll be able to see what Kate Sith is capable of. So that manipulate materia that we now have. So it allows us to take control of enemies. You know, if the RNG will allow it, of course. But believe me, once we do, uh, we'll be able to make use of the enemy's special attacks. And if they just so happen to have an enemy skill, uh, we'll be able to use it. Uh, so yeah. There are a few instances where we couldn't really get the enemy skill off of a single enemy because they'll just use that particular enemy skill on themselves rather than us. But now with the manipulate material, we'll be able to do that. So that's pretty damn cool. That now we have now we have the option, you know? So in here you can get some rest. If you don't have a tent. And if you don't get robbed. And also if you don't get, you know. Anyway. In here, you dudes look like a little bit like rude a little bit. Not really like that, but you know what I mean. Anyway. And oh, no, 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 no. Not these dudes. No, 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 no. Mug. Yeah. There it is. Mug. That's one of their big attacks right there. These are bandits. Think like, uh, you know... Like, <laughs> like those thief enemies we keep on running into, except a, far, a lot worse. So, yeah, you definitely, again, same rules apply. You want to defeat them before they make off with your stuff. Again, they can steal items, they can steal gill, and they can steal whatever else floats your mind. You knew that you gotta pay your respects to Mr. Coates. Okay, well, in this truck... Never seen your face around here before. Going up. Yeah, I'm going up. I want out of here. You don't seem to understand how things work down here. This is the Gold Saucer's garbage dump. And that makes all of you a bunch of scrub All of your scrubs. The only way to get back up there is to win the Chocobo race. But it's not as easy as you rookies think. Of course, if you get the boss's permission, it'd be another story, but you'll never get that. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you're dirty, you poop. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, we got to get the boss's permission, whoever that is. And 
We would go out there, but the desert is kind of mean. So, uh, ooh, there's a treasure chest over there, but it's already, uh, it's already, you know, gotten. <laughs> we didn't even do that. Rookie, then you gotta buy some. That's the rules here. Sure. You can buy the usual stuff here. Nothing really too special. And if we could talk to that guy, that would be cool. No, not you again. I want to talk to the bar guy. Hello. I don't think we can actually talk to him. Oh, God. We can't, act we can't actually talk to him. Huh. Well, I really suppose there's nothing really else to do but to go into this house. Didn't I tell you not to come here? Just, just hold on for a second. We just want to talk. You'll understand if you hear us out. Didn't want none of you to get involved. Whoa, where'd you come from? And also, how did you get here? Hey, that's Cloud's line. It's too dangerous. I can't let you get involved. Hey, that's Cloud's line. It's too dangerous. I can't let you get involved. Blah, blah, blah. God, she's pure. Yeah, we're already involved in this. We saw you and hurried here. So come on, Barrett. Just tell us what's going on. You guys. I heard that the murders at the battle arena were done by a man with a gun arm. Was that you? There's another. Another man that got a gun grafted into one of his arms. That was four years ago. I remember. I was on my way home from visiting a macro reactor being built. Barrett! Dine! Come quick! The village has been attacked! It's Shinra's soldiers! What?! What the hell happened? Hey, Barrett, it's not over yet. Everyone's waiting. Let's go back to the village. Protect the village! Hmm! Oh man! Come on, Barrett! We gotta hurry! We can't be there! I'm dancing for my life here! Barrett! You stay here! shoot all day and you never hit him with aim like that. Shut up! Yeah! Stop playing around and cover me! Watch out! Dang! Hold on! Listen to me! You're coming back to the village, here? Yeah. I ain't letting go. You're coming back. Everyone's waiting for you. Eleanor and Marlene. They're all waiting for us. From then on, I couldn't use my right arm no more. I was depressed for a while. But then I threw away my artificial arm and got this gun grafted in. Got a new ride on to get revenge on Shinra, who took everything away. 
Back then, I heard the doc say there was another man who got the same operation as me. But his was his left arm. But Dine's injury was the same as yours, right? Yeah, that's right. He was deceived by Shinra too. He'll probably join us in the fight against Shinra. Wouldn't bet on it. Gotta apologize to Dine before I can rest in peace. And that's why I gotta go alone. Do whatever you want. Is that what you want to hear? Well, I can't let you do that. We need your help to save the planet. Barrett, this isn't the end. Weren't you going to save the planet? Shit! Tifa, you ought to know by now! That's alright. I'm not so different from you. It's easier to understand. It's you, Barrett. So there it is, Barrett. I guess it'll be me, Barrett, and... Earth by default, because she has the materia. Don't worry, we'll be able to see, you know, more of Kate Sith later on. Fortune's good! Everything is perfect! Once again, you can speak to your party members if you want to change up your, you know, party. <laughs> hmm? Shall I go with you? I'm just, I'm just seeing what they have to say. Y'all sure are pretty acting heroic considering not making money out of, off of this. Well, Yuffie's got a point. We do, we do make the big bucks. Actually, I've never actually done uh, this sort of thing with uh, Aerith before, so... I mean, it won't change anything what happens in terms of the story, but... Eh, pretty interesting. Anyway, I don't want to have to fight anybody on my way over to Dine's place, so... I'm gonna turn off random encounters for the moment. And I'm going to make use of a tent. And you might want to make a save here. Believe me, this happened to me. Because if you lose this big important thing coming up, if you get a game over, then you'll be booted back to the last save point, which is... Probably not Gold Saucer. So, just be aware of that. The Bandits actually drop tents. So, that easily makes up for the one that I just used. Oh, I just remembered. There's actually an enemy skill coming up that you probably don't want to miss. It's one of those enemy skills that is, well, technically missable. It's just that coming up is the earliest possible moment that you can, you know, get it. So anyway, let's do the bolt two. And he's got cure three. Thank you for curing us. Oh, look at that. They're actually kind of helpful. <laughs> well, I guess Two-Face would probably do the trick. I mean, probably the good side just helped us, and then the bad side will probably just, you know, kill us. But I suppose it doesn't really matter anyway. Anyway, uh, down here is nothing except skeletons and a treasure chest that's already open. Right, let's keep rolling. Let's keep on moving on here. You... Now... This place is the big reason why Corral Prison is so famous in-universe. It's all because of this desert. You get stuck to it, it's an endless desert. Until... Eventually, under normal circumstances... A chocobo will just come on over and take you back to where you started. But here, I believe you want to go all the way over to the right. And that's just to eventually, you know, you'll eventually make it to your destination. Also, uh, sand, Darude Sandstorm. The Landworm is your big adversary in the desert. 
So the landworm is a pretty big dude who can use earthquake. And that will damage everybody. And yeah, you probably want to take care of this dude quickly. All I can really do is just earthquake anyway, so it's not like it doesn't even matter. Wait, actually, we haven't used level 4 suicide in like minutes. So let's do a dab and, uh. Oh! Uh, actually, never mind. It's not a multiple of 4. It's weak against cold attacks, so that would be ice. Sandstorm, there it is. It's weird. I, I I remember this. I remember the landworm being a lot more deadly than this, but apparently not. Oh yeah, and you might want to watch out because the sandstorm attack can inflict darkness. So be careful. Anyway, uh, let's just uh, yeah, we're we're gonna. Yeah, I just had to waste all my uh, high potions while I was grinding. Anyway, we probably don't want to be bothered with anything else. That's because this desert goes on forever. Yeah, see, this is what happens. So... You just keep wandering around in the desert until eventually a chocobo cart will come along and take you all the way back to where you started in the desert. It's funny, I could have sworn that uh, that you needed to go all the way over to the right in order to do this. In order to proceed, but... Hmm. What do you have to say before we eventually cut away? Man, the boss isn't really in a bad mood today. Or is it one of his better days? I can probably imagine that it's not one of his better days. Oh, here it is. So, I guess the chocobo cart does help. Now... I... Would recommend... Uh, putting... All of your materia... On to Barrett. And I would also recommend that you get your enemy skill on to Barrett. Mainly restore an enemy skill. The rest of them you can just do whatever you want. But yeah, I'm just saying. Anyway. Uh, what was I about to do? Oh, yeah. I was about to uh, cure everybody up. Okay, so before you move on to, you know, the boss. Uh, in this little area. And I'm not technically sure if you can only do this once or not. But there's an enemy here with an enemy skill that you definitely don't want to miss. This is basically your earliest opportunity to even get it. And I believe bull motors. I don't think this is it, but you can get Matra magic here if you somehow didn't get it yet. So that's pretty neat. Oh, this is actually a good opportunity, actually. Hammer blow and a fury ban fury brand are the limit breaks that I want to show off. Yeah, see, look at that! Isn't that just so cool? <laughs> How he just freaking just blows away the enemy. That's awesome. Okay, I believe these enemies. Death Claw! Wait, actually, no, I don't. Okay, I actually want to show off uh, Fury Brand right here. Because it's actually very, very helpful. Alright, Fury Brand, let's go! This is a very, very helpful limit break. Because with it, except for the user, your other two party members will be... will have their limit gauge filled to the max because of this. And that's awesome. 
That's awesome sauce. Anyway, I'm gonna look up this enemy to make sure that I have this information right, because I know it's here. You know what I actually forgot to do? I forgot to take off the manipulate materia. Because, well, I'm gonna need uh, Barrett to hold on to it for just a, just a second. All right, here we go, here we go. So what you need to do is you need to use the manipulate materia on a death claw. What do you mean? Don't worry, it will probably take a while to do it. But I'm sure you can do it. There you go. See, now because of that, now we can use the enemy skill called laser. Laser is an enemy skill that cuts your own HP, that cuts the enemy's HP in half. And just so you're aware, this is basically the earliest opportunity to get laser. If you have any enemy skill materia that needs a uh, laser, then this is where to this is where to go. Uh, so I probably want to do it on that other enemy skill materia, even though I really only use one. I mean, there's four in that thing, so I guess that's okay, but eh, whatever. We got laser anyway, so that's all that matters. Done. Is that really you? Now that's a voice I haven't heard in years. A voice I'll never forget. I always hoped that I would come here to see you again. I knew you'd be alive somewhere. We had the same operation. Listen, Dine, I want to. I can hear her voice. What's that? Hmm? It's Eleanor's voice, begging me not to hate your rotten guts. That's why I never hunted you down. I know I was stupid. I'm not asking you to forgive me. But what are you doing in a place like this? Why do you want to kill people who ain't even involved? Why? Why? The hell do you care? You think the dead understand whys? Is hearing Shinra's excuses gonna make people in Corel understand anything? I don't care about reasons. All they give us is artillery and stupid excuses. What's left is a world of despair and emptiness. You still want to hear why? You forgot the S, buddy. Right. I'll tell you. Because I want to destroy everything. The people in the city. The city itself. The whole world! I got nothing left in this world. Corel. Eleanor. Marlene? Dine. Marlene! Marlene's still alive! I went back into town. I thought she was gone for sure. I wandered around town for a while. And that's when I found her. Found Marlene. She's in Midgar. Let's go see it together, all right? So, she's still alive? All right, Barrett. Then I guess you and me gotta fight. What? Eleanor's all by herself. I gotta take Marlene to her. Dine. 
Are you crazy? Marlene wants to see her mom, doesn't she? Stop dying! I can't die yet! Oh yeah? Well, my life's been over ever since then. Stop it! I don't want to fight you! Barrett! Clown, stay the hell out of it! This is my problem! This is why I recommended that you equip Barrett as much as possible. We gotta fight with Dine. And I'm just gonna wait until a limit break happens. All right, let's do this. Let's do it, baby. So here's Dine, the other man with a gun arm. He's going to use Needle Gun as his regular attack. You can't actually poison him as much as you can. And wow, is it really gonna only do 69 damage? Yes. Yes, he is. S mine. So, in terms of healing, I would honestly recommend that you heal when Barrett is at half of his HP. So, yeah, you're basically fighting all alone here. But since I'm since I'm outfitted with basically anything, what's with the 69 damage? Really? Is 69 damage all that I'm going to have to do? Yes. Yes, I am. Too bad for you, dude. I can use magic and you can't. Molotov Cocktail. I believe that's his strongest attack right there. And... Wait. Did he go down? I think he did. Because I think Molotov Cocktail is his desperation move. And there it is. Yeah, Poison can actually do very well for myself. Back! I didn't just lose an arm back then. I lost something irreplaceable. I don't know where it went wrong. Dying. I don't know either, man. Is this the only way we can resolve this? I told you. I... I want to destroy everything. Everything. This crazy world. Even me. And what about Marlene? What's going to happen to her? Think about it, Barrett. How old was Marlene back then? Even if I did go see her, she wouldn't even know me. And what's more, Barrett? My hands are too stained to carry her anymore. Barrett. Give that pendant to Marlene. It was Eleanor's, my wife's, a memento. All right. So, Marlene's already four. Barrett, don't you ever make her cry. Dine? Dine! Dine! Dine. Me and you were the same. My hands ain't any cleaner. I shouldn't carry Marlene either. Ugh!